How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Learning Game Maker Studio 2. This is the RPG series. In this episode, we're going to be learning how to make a bow and arrow type of thing where you hold the right mouse and it fills up a charge gauge and then you press left click and then it shoots an arrow. But if you let go of the right mouse, it starts letting go of the charge gauge. And if you just left click, you just swing your sword. You don't shoot your arrow. We're not going to do the sword. We're just going to do the bow and arrow thing in this episode. So we can, boom, shoot our bow and arrow and fill up our charge gate. But we have to pull back the bow long enough in order for it to finally fire. Okay, so if that's interesting or you want to learn how to program that, it's really easy. I'll show you how to do it really quickly. So let's jump into the tutorial majigger thingy majigger. Okay, so on your player object or whatever object you want to put inside of the, the map, all you have to do is add a couple of variables. You need one for your max value and one for your min value. Now, you're going to have your other variables like your life and your power and all your other stuff. But just for this specific thing, we're going to look at two. We're going to look at current bowstring tension and we're going to look at max bowstring tension. This is an arbitrary name. You call it whatever you want. Just, you know, create uh, your setting, your starting number set it to zero and create a max it's arbitrary give it whatever you want keep in mind though the number of frames uh, that your game is run by is going to affect uh, how fast this number reaches like I'm running 60 frames per second and I'm going to incre increment this each time uh, it runs through the cycle in the step phase the next time we're gonna to get to that uh, by one so it's gonna be 60 every second so in two seconds if I'm holding the mouse button for two seconds, it's going to go from empty to full, and then I can left click after two seconds and fire. You can see how that's uh, easily to calculate. If, you, if you're running 30, 30 frames per second, this code will take four seconds to fill up that bar. That's all I'm pointing out there. So um, if your game is also, you can keep it at 120, but you just have to change the code a little bit, and I'll show you that right now. So on the step phase, just add another uh, event uh, and not phase, event, add another event there, and, and uh, we're just going to basically, you can just copy this code, we're just going to enforce some limits, we're going to say if, running some conditionals, if our current bowstring tension is greater than our max bowstring tension, then our current bowstring tension is our max bowstring tension, easy, right, so we don't go overboard, uh, and same thing, if current bowstring tension is less than zero, then current bowstring tension is zero, so we don't have the bar moving negatively and look really funny. Uh, on the draw. You'll see why that matters later. If current bowstring tension is greater than or equal to max bowstring tension minus one, then we're going to do this. Another condition inside here. This is this is where we would set up sound effects and stuff if we wanted to as well. But I'm going to skip all the sound effects stuff because we already did that. So if our mouse button, so if, you know, our tension is more or you know, if it's equal to, if we fill the bar, <laughs> you can rewrite this to equals equals. I did it this a specific, a specific way so the bar looks right. But you can rewrite that if you wanted to. Basically, if we filled up the bar and we left click, then we want to set our current tension to zero because we've let go of the bowstring at this point. So the bow is going to go boom, shoot the arrow. So we need to create the arrow. So we're going to we're going to create that with an instance create layer. We're going to say X, Y. Let me go back up to here and zoom in. This is probably better on you guys. Sorry. There we go. That looks better, right? So we're creating that layer um, at this location on this exact layer. Now, this will be different for you where I have instance layer in parentheses. Now, that's because I have a instance layer over here. So if uh, you don't have an instance layer, just add another layer right here and then hit cl uh, left click and hit F2 and rename it instance layer. And there you go. Or rename a different one you already have. Or just rename this to something you already have. There's several ways, right? You guys get it. And then we're going to say what object we're going to create. You don't have an object to create yet, but if you want to create that arrow, which you probably are going to do, you could do this. It could be like, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a bow and arrow. You could use the same code to do, like, charge your weapon or something, you know. So you're going to create this uh, object right there. So I'll show you how I made the arrow right now. Then we're going to say um, we have to decide, we have to... To, to figure out how we're going to charge the bar, how fast we're going to fill the bar, how slow we're going to fill the bar, and here's how I've handled it. This next conditional statement is the last thing. This Everything else is sound, so that's the last thing. So if mouse check button, mouse button right, that means if we're pressing the, the right uh, mouse button, then current bowstring tension plus plus. That just means keep adding, uh, add one specifically every frame, every time we run the step uh, code. Um, otherwise, Subtract 2 from it. So I'm saying current bowstring tension minus equals 2. That means uh, current bowstring tension equals current bowstring tension minus 2. But we're sh shorthand it with minus equals there. So there you go. 
Um, and that's it for, um, for that. The rest of that is just other stuff in the game. So then we need to go to the draw. So you add another event, and you add a draw. So once you've got the draw, we're gonna since we've added a draw now that uh, it's an, an object, your player event right here. If it has a sprite, you need to draw self. If this is like a data manager and it's just invisible, that's holding your, all your code, you know, on the then you don't need to draw self because it's invisible anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you do, like I said, if you're putting a, a thing, draw self because you have to now because you've added the draw. Otherwise, it automatically does draw self for you. You guys just don't see it. <clears throat> so. Uh, here's how we set up the bar. We're going to do shorthand draw health bar, but we're going to use it uh, with our own little equation here. So we're going to say if current bowstring tension greater than or equal to zero, we're going to draw a health bar function, and then you select where you want it. These numbers will be different for you depending on the size of your sprite and just wherever you want it to be. So um, I'm saying draw health bar x plus 16, y minus 16, x plus 19, y plus 16. Now there's no end line here. This is all one gigantic line, right? This is all one big line right here. Now I just spaced it out, right? So this is all one line, and you could write it just like that. But I spaced it out to show you that it'll still work if you want to make it look better on your uh, on your eyes, right? As long as you don't add any unnecessary stuff in here, you can't put a comment here, right? Because it still it would it would mess it up, and you know. But you keep that in mind, and you can space it so that it's easy to read. So we're gonna draw at that location. The next uh, thing that it's looking for inside the bottom here, it's looking for an amount. So in this, all of this is one thing. This is just the amount. We're going to put in parentheses. You can say current bowstring tension divided by max bowstring tension, and then do that first. Multiply that by a hundred, and that'll give you your uh, your that'll give you a, a zero to a hundred because that's what draw health bar is looking for: zero to a hundred. And the next thing it's looking for is your background color, your your minimum color, the color the bar is going to fill up as when it's the low when it's uh, when it's closer to being empty and then the color is going to turn when it gets closer to being full and then the next thing it's asking for is direction now this confused me for a little while guys guys when when game maker studio 2 is asking you for direction usually they're going to give you uh, uh they want they're looking for a specific range between between zero and 360 right and zero is right 180 is left and then i think it goes 90 is is up right is that how it works and then it's either 90 is up or 270 is up. I always check it every time. I think 90 is up. But anyway, that's not how it works with the shorthand draw health bar. They shorthanded the shorthand, the thing that they're looking for. So direction is a number, 0, 1, 2, or 3. All you got to do is middle mouse click draw health bar, and you can get the specifics on the direction right here. 0 is left, 1 is right, 2 is top. Three is bottom, so it's the direction where the bar is starts from. All right, so let's go back to the code. I said three, All right? So the help file says that starts at the bottom. So if the thing starts at the bottom, then where's it going to go to the top? So I made the bar look like a really tall, skinny box instead of a long, horizontal. Uh, box right and then I made it start at the bottom and go up you can see how if you change these numbers and you change this number 0 1 2 or 3 you can completely change where the box is at and where how it fills up and you also change the colors Do you guys see how this is so simple now and then the last thing is do you want to show show a one pixel border around it true or false uh, you could just put 0 1 if you hear because binary true or false same thing boom that's it draw okay so that's it for that code there right that's pretty much all you got to do to handle the code for the bar um, and for the 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 functionality between holding right mouse and left mouse to release. Now you can set up your object however you want. I'll go over the the way I set up the arrow if you want to copy this because it's pretty simple. Uh, add a create, say direction is point direction x y mouse x. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this. It's, it's really really a uh, simple code. And then speed is random range between whatever speed uh, you want it to get. You know, you can specify how fast it goes. Image angle, point direction, same code. You know, image angle, speed, same thing. Um, and then we add a collision. So we go add, uh, collision, and then of, of your other things. When, you know, when this arrow, this, this laser beam, whatever you're making, collides with this other ob object. Got him. You know what I mean? 
So we're going to say with other, so the thing that it collided with, play a sound effect, do an, a, um, a, a particle effect. This is a sh code uh, uh, shorthand. Let me show you that because it's, now it's relevant. What am I doing? Here we go. Here we go. Here. What is it? P Royal Charge? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. P Royal Charge. There you go. Here's the code for it. Super quick. In a nutshell. It's the way I just shorthand my particles. Part, part particle create. Boom, boom, boom. So I don't have to save me one line. You could just say part particle create right there if you wanted to. Matter of fact, for this simple thing, if you haven't already set up a particle system like I've already done, just say part particles create and then make your own particles. Instance destroy because we don't want the arrow to continue on for infinity. Another thing is, if you miss, the arrow will continue on for infinity unless you do another thing. So we add an event, another uh, other thing, and we say outside room. So if it ever leaves outside the room, just destroy this arrow so it doesn't keep creating particles like a thousand bajillion, you know, pixels to the left and just eating up your whole system resources, right? So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the arrow, for the logic behind it. I feel like I'm missing something. I always feel like I'm missing something. Sometimes I do, but I'm sure I will hear about it in the comments. Did I miss anything else, guys? Let me know in the comments. Did you guys like this tutorial? Please talk to me. Oh, God. So lonely, guys. Talk to me. Please talk to me. Tell me what you guys want to know about. Because these evergreen tutorials, they usually take months to get their, their views. They do get more views than a lot of other videos I do, which is weird because nobody cares when I first release these videos. Nobody cares at all. But then if you look and, like, you know, a few months later, you see, like, damn, how did this get that many views? Now, in rel oh my god. I get no views, guys. I get no views. Oh, oh yeah, the tutorial is done. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Um, all my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. You guys keep me alive, and I really appreciate that. And please talk to me. Let me know what you want. You know, let me know. Specifically, I need to know more uh, Game Maker Studio 2 stuff because I have a plethora, a plethora of RPG Maker stuff. Don't you guys agree? There's like 200 tutorials. Do I really need to make t t more tutorials for RPG Maker? Probably. I think I probably do. But I, I want to do more Game Maker Studio 2 stuff. I think it's really cool. There's just a lot more possibilities. It's a lot. It takes a lot more work. That's for sure. It takes a lot longer. I guarantee that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Like this video if you did like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Is that weird? I say bye bye. Like most of my audience is male. Is that weird? No, it's not weird, right, guys? I mean, it's too late now, right? <laughs> I've got like a hundred videos. I'm like, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Just, just shut up. Just, just, just.